Hello, dear viewer. Last time, we experienced some very strange things. And apparently we're ready for the final battle. Nice. So our cousin came back. Y2K bug is actually the Millennium bug in our game. Apparently destroying the internet. I'm Jalanon. And we're going to continue this, apparently, with Prince Scorpio. Nice. Who survived? A black hole. Which is pretty impressive. Thanks to our sheriff friend, who also went into the black hole. Anyway, never mind. As you ready yourselves for the final battle, someone unexpected joins you. I come in the name of peace and sanity, but not in the name of the Empire who let you out. The tremors weakened my cell enough for me to uh, psychically mangle the door. I was going to say physically, but uh, yeah, no, wrong word. I have studied the Millennium Bug for decades, searching for a way to control it. I brought it here, but alas, my powers are not enough to control it. So please, let me make amends. Let me join you. It's redemption time! I like redemption time. Oh, uh, realistically, we should go with this one. But redemption time. You always gotta offer, right? Joy, I will make up for my past mistakes. You've made no shortage of those. I'll meditate. Meditate? Meditate. I'm psychic, I can say what I want. And meet you afterwards. Scorpio leaves the room. Wait, before you go, take this with you. She hands you a strange device. This time warper will activate on its own if you defeat the bug. If? What does it do? It... Come on, Barbara Fett. It's no fun if I tell you. You probably won't be able to leave the cocoon as long as the bug is alive. Prepare yourselves wisely to attack the Millennium Cocoon. Okay. It all comes down to this. Stop the Millennium Bug from resetting all of time. Okay. Well... Uh, I really like that in-game item. Hmm. Hmm. What uh, stuff are we missing? Okay, we've got Sururinium, Vulcanite, Savannite. We have a bunch of Savannite. Sandium, Forestium. There are what, seven different types of minerals? And we've got six here. Or no, seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe we have enough now. Hmm. So before we do that crazy stuff, let's see, can we buy stuff here? No. Where's the city? There's the city. Ooh. You're stopped by an unbelievably muscular simian who says the item you're carrying is actually his. What do you do? Mm. I'll politely invite him to double check what you're carrying. He does and realizes he is indeed mistaken. He apologizes and thanks you for the patience and politeness. Removed one rep? What? But that was Priceline's negotiations. Dude. That should totally increase his rep. Ah, oh well. Oh well. So we have Tasty Adams, Soylent Rainbow, reference to Soylent Green, Condensed Protein, and Thunder Charge. Ah, we're gonna get Condensed Protein. Seems like this may be the end, so we'll get that. Eh, we may need some more stuff for our ship, too. Let's buy one of those. We don't need coffee anymore. We have it. I think we're good. Alright, so what we should do is buy some more unexplained devices. If we can. And do some prep. Yo. So, yeah. Wait, are there actually eight elements and we're missing one? I thought there were seven. Hmm. Or minerals, I should say, not elements. There are quite a few elements in the periodic table. Can't just go earth, wind, air, and fire anymore. Nope. They gotta be all about those transition metals. Oh man. They are everywhere. So that must be the cocoon. And it is. It's the final showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Also a song. If uh, you've ever heard of Tootie, he's often a collaborator with Jerome ASF, and then, uh, yeah. Wait, I want to find stuff. And now I have no directions. Uh, oh, well. We'll have to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, Tootie likes to sing that song. Okay, gate to soul system again, but we wanted to go back to Clendithar, because I think this is where we can get our final item thing. 
which will hopefully be very useful. We shall see. Maybe it's psychic powers. I mean, come on, Scorpio, Anorak, and I have psychic powers. Why can't we? Just saying. So I think we want to go over here. Double check if we can get stuff. Coming back. No! Why? Okay. Well, either we need to go find the Technomancer first, or we missed an opportunity. Well, we got more Sewerinium. So that's a thing. Let's see if we can get a good item over here and not make this a complete and total waste of time. Treasure crate. Mm -hmm. We got a flash forward device. Eh, some more initiative. Okay. I won't say no to that. We could always sell it. Um, any other stuff to buy? Maybe we can find something. We're getting pretty good rolls here. Okay. Anything else? No unexplained devices, huh? Hmm. It's weird that they don't have one of the best healing items in the game later in the game. But, no. Oh well. Hmm. I don't think we're going to need any more SP items. But you know what? I'm reconsidering. We'll get that many. Okay. Well... I think we're well enough equipped we could get through the last fight. I'm not too worried about it, but perhaps I should be. Hmm. I'm just so used to over-preparing in any RPG. <laughs> Aha, you see a pile of minerals just lying on the ground. Hmm. Let's actually just pick up the minerals this time. Yeah, bandits. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, we're good. Oh, it's a giant bug dude. Hi, giant bug dude. We're going to remove your shield. That pirate's going to waste his turn. We're going to light the bug on fire. Yoink. I hear they don't really like that, so hopefully he'll just run away. But it's unlikely, isn't it? Hmm. We'll confuse the bug as well. And then, bad ape. Charged attack. There we go. And then the bug will have its day. A day of pain, apparently. Oh, nope. Resisted the confusion. And it gave plus damage to the pirate. Impressive. Price line. Time to give the slap of negotiation. And then... So far, they still haven't gotten through our shields, so we're doing pretty well. We can deal crit damage plus burn damage. And that takes out the bug. And then we can confuse the pirate, maybe. That's right, pirate. We will speak in eloquent terms and disrupt our parley and negotiations while you look for the SARS. Mm, critical attack. We're about to heal our SP and HP once we get back into space anyway, so no big deal. NBD. That's space terminology for no big deal. All right, well... I think we're just going to go to the Millennium Bug. We still do have some unexplained devices. Eh, I should really double check that. Mm, yeah, we've got 11. We should be fine. Alright, so this will be our final team. Priceline, Negotiator, Barbara Fett, Bounty Hunter, Bad Ape, the Soldier Trooper Dude, and Joy, the Med Tech. And now, we journey to the end. Or do we? I mean, with so much time stuff, you never know. Also, there's the black hole. That's pretty cool. Ooh, so you know what? <laughs> I bet there's extra stuff or DLC content in the future. Hmm. hmm. I guess we'll find out. But to the Millennium Cocoon. Also, will we have a spaceship battle? We finally have a D20. Yeah! Okay. Well, we got an 8. That's not bad. Um, we'll do pew pew. Enter. Well, we're dealing a lot of damage. That did not sound great. What? 
Okay. Weird. So I guess we have to defeat it in one strike? Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, Link saved us. Good job, Link. We apparently have to use every resource we have to one-shot this thing. Okay. Well. Let's... Oh my goodness, terrible roll. Okay. Uh, gonna, whoa! What? I just clicked it once and it did that, right? Well, I clicked and held it. Hmm. Discharge? We don't need discharge yet. So we definitely want to switch to our activate missiles. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. Maybe it just showed the wrong number or something weird. Why is it? Anyway. Oh my goodness, what? It only let me shoot once? Come on, come on. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, will this do it? Will we survive? Please? Are we bugged out on the Millennium Cocoon? Hmm. And we can't remove our opponent's energy, because... Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, well... This is awkward. Hmm. Maybe we don't use the missiles and just fire? Maybe it's like a special event? Hmm. We'll try it again. <laughs> Why 2K bug? Why are you so difficult? Okay. Roll them again. There we go. Use that. Okay, it fully charges again. Yeah, yeah. So do we do the activate missiles? It seems like that messed it up, so we're just going to try normal attacks. Yeah, okay, so... Just normal attacks. No fancy stuff. Pure... special event thing, it looks like. Taking down the cocoon's defenses, you close in. The cocoon is trying to hurl us away on the time tides. It's a good thing I have pincers to hold on. Roll. Oh, everything depends on the dice, though. You land inside the Millennium Cocoon. And can we level up Joy? No, we can't. The Cocoon's defenses have activated. We will be burnt like ants under a magnifying glass. Enough with the bug jokes already. There is only one thing I can usefully attempt. The Cocoon's defenses let up. I discharged everything that the Nebula had to counterattack. The good news is that we will be able to complete our mission. The bad news is that we are stranded here. So even if we defeat the bug, we won't be able to leave. Well, that never stopped adventurers from doing what had to be done. Come on, we've got a bug to squish. You know, I read your mind. I knew you'd say that. I'm not even mad. Once you step out of the, the nebula, you'll have to face the bug. Be sure to prepare accordingly, okay? All right, let's level up Joy. That seems like a good preparation. We've got a revive skill. We can also heal. We can also confuse and poison. Well, poison, sort of. Probably not, unless the Millennium Bug has multiple parts that we can poison. Hmm. Hmm. I think confusion is better if we can get it to stick. The question is if it can uh, be immune or not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to worry about that too, too much. Virus, I mean, we can poison with virus anyway. So, yeah, and that can group heal. If only we had another person that could poison. Can anybody else poison? I think Price Link can only burn. Can Barbara or Bad Ape poison? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Bad Ape, do you have a poison skill now? Uh, probably not. Okay, nope. Well, we tried. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think we're pretty set. I may regret that remark. But we are now inside the Millennium Bug. 
Tune in next time, dear viewer, to see how the battle goes. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.